the sprawling winter wonderland of Varmland, home to 10,000 lakes, a province dominating much of western Sweden, split down the middle by the country's longest river, the Klarälven. Magnet to locals and tourists alike, and once a year providing a stunning backdrop for the WRC's one full winter rally. In recent seasons, there's been a lack of snow. Not this year, there's plenty of the white stuff. Hardly surprising, this is one of the most popular events on the calendar for fans and crews alike. I think after Monte is uh, really like a relief to go to Sweden because then it's the first event where you can really push maximum. Hopefully the conditions will be nice there with a lot of snow and ice, but uh, if we have all of this with all the big snow banks, then it's just uh, pure uh, joy to drive there. Obviously a highlight of the championship, uh, especially for me, I'm born in the mountain in Gap, so I used to ski a lot, I used to drive on snow, but driving in, in Sweden is, is amazing. It's uh, one of the fastest rally of the championship. Big amount of grip with uh, special sturdy tires, because when you have big snow bank and good layout of uh, snow and ice on the road, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's magical to drive there. Personally, I love more winter rallies in the championship because the sensation to drive on winter conditions, full white road, snow banks a metre high with these special studded tyres. When it's right, there's no better feeling in the world. To drive a world rally car on, on those conditions is something special. For sure, it's uh, familiar for Finnish drivers, and I really enjoy driving on snow and ice between the snow banks, especially if it's like a proper winter and, and the sun is shining, you have some minus five degrees, it's the best thing what you can do. We're forced to drive with the spike tires on, on, the, on the snowy roads. So if there's some good ice layer as well, it makes the car really, really fast and precise. So uh, uh, I enjoy going there. Last year we had a great speed as well. We're leading by far, obviously a small mistake, uh, bring the rally to an end, but uh, we learned from it and uh, we're gonna try to do better this year. It is certainly a favourite. Uh, okay, I never grew up in snow, um, so you know it's not a rally I have a lot of experience of. A lot of it is on how much of an ice space you have to the road. Um, you know, for the stud to work proper in a tyre, you, you need ice under the snow. When you've got that ice, you can be a lot more aggressive. You can really attack. You can push the spike into the ground, which generates more grip. And then, of course, the snow banks give you a lot of room for error. Nine times out of ten, bounce off them and, and carry on. I think after Monte is uh, really like a relief to go to Sweden because then it's the first event where you can really push maximum. Hopefully the conditions will be nice there with a lot of snow and ice, but uh, if you have all of this with all the big snow banks, then it's just uh, pure uh, joy to drive.